Welcome to The Refresher, bringing you the latest in Dota 2 news, tournaments, meta, and memes. This episode covers the week preceding the 4th of September 2017, which gave us some big new roster announcements, bots gone mad, a heap of FPL games, and a really loud League of Legends player. Let's get straight into it. In the state of the game this week, Valve turned the Dota 2 bots into a pack of greedy, ignorant feeders. Patch released early in the week broke the bot's ability to detect nearby heroes, causing them to steal runes, ignore player commands, and manfight any enemy bots to the death, regardless of how outmatched they were. The changes were noticed very quickly by members of the community who play with bots, and Valve resolved the issue a few days later. The rest of the patches this week were just more bug fixes for cosmetics, item descriptions, and the guide system, with no real gameplay changes. On to esports news now, and this week we got even more juicy new roster announcements. NA team Leviathan is back with a new roster featuring BSJ, Noble Wings, Jenkins, New Sham, and Slayer. X Planet Odd members Weeha and Saxa have formed a new, currently unnamed team, bringing in Peruvian player Tomato, along with popular streamer Cancel and Kezu from Team Secret. And after previously parting ways with three of their players, Alliance announced this week that they had decided to also drop the other two and are bringing back old star player Loda to rebuild the team from scratch. Russian squad Team Spirit has dropped BZZ and Vanscore and picked up ILTW from M19 and Biver from Na'Vi to complete their new roster. Korean Dota is back as QO announced this week that he, MP, Ferev, Febi and Dubu will be playing together again this season. They last played in that lineup under the MVP Phoenix banner in 2016 where they finished 5th to 6th place at TI6. Evil Genius has finally confirmed the rumors about their changes this week, not only announcing position 4 player Zai will be departing from the squad, but also that PPD will be stepping down from his role as CEO and also leaving the organization. EG veteran Fear will be stepping back into the spotlight once again to fill the remaining spot on the team, taking over the drafting and position 5 duties, while Crit returns to position 4 to replace Zai. There's no confirmation yet on what Zai and PPD will be doing this season, but it's rumored that they'll be playing together on a completely new team. And we finally found out where this season's hottest free agent, Resolution, has ended up. To no one's great surprise, he'll be filling the spot left by Ana as Team OG's new mid laner. Resolution said as part of the announcement that it's going to be a challenge for him to switch back to playing the mid role again, so he's excited and looking forward to the start of a new season. In other esports news now, the country of Jordan officially opened a new training center for esports players this week in the presence of Miracle from Team Liquid and a prince of the Jordanian royal family. The center aims to provide an opportunity for players to gather and train as well as attract more people in the country to esports. The organization of LGD Gaming also released some similar news this week, announcing that they're building a brand new esports arena in Hangzhou, China which will include a movie theater, food hall, gym and internet cafe, as well as housing all of the organization's Dota and League of Legends teams. And finally, a much anticipated comeback was announced this week. Blitz and Capitalist will be casting together again for the upcoming season. If you've missed the pair's commentary since TI6, rest assured, with all the Dota coming up, there's going to be plenty of them to listen to over the next 6 to 12 months. In tournament news this week, we're finally starting to see some action as the post-TI lull dissipates. Open qualifiers are currently underway for the first minor of the year, the Star Ladder I-League Invitational 3. Every region has a shot, with the winners playing off in regional qualifiers sometime in the next few weeks. While not exactly a tournament, the new Face It Pro League is also well and truly underway, showcasing your favorite top-tier players matching up in randomly assigned teams. Grand Grand has been casting a lot of the games and many of the players themselves have been streaming, so if you're looking for something to fill the competitive void since TI, go and check out some of those games. In new tournament announcements, PGL has finally released details for their upcoming minor. It's called the PGL Dota 2 Open and it'll run from the 19th to the 22nd of October with 8 teams total, 6 qualifiers and direct invites for Evil Geniuses and LGD Gaming. The LAN component of the tournament will be run from Bucharest but interestingly, the event will be broadcast only, with no live audience. Beyond the Summit this week announced a new American Invitational League called King's Cup America. The league features seven invited NA and SA teams, plus one spot for an open qualifier team which will be decided this coming week. League matches will start almost immediately after, leading up to playoffs on the 19th and 20th of this month. 
The winning team will receive a direct invite to BTS's own minor, the Summit 8, which is expected to run later this year. ESL announced open qualifiers for their upcoming major this week. Sunup is now open for all six regions and matches start on the 16th of September. So check the link in the description if you're looking to try out. And Moonduck released a new trailer for their upcoming Midas Mode tournament, setting the date for November and giving a nod to Valve's artifact announcement as well. In this week's meta review, it looks like things have stabilized since TI and 7.06F. Sniper, Marana and Pudge all saw minor increases in pick rate, and Alchemist, Void and Morphling had minor drops, but all changes were less than 1%. Overall, Spectre still has the highest win rate, sitting at a comfortable 57%, followed closely by Zeus, Necro and Wraith King, who has bumped Underlord and Spirit Breaker down to take the fourth spot. And in the over 5k MMR bracket, Visage continues to dominate, so keep an eye out for him as well. In the content corner this week, BTS Boys Hotbit and Cuddle Guy ran episode 2 of their new Hotcox podcast, featuring Weeha talking about his new team, TI ambitions, and what he thought about the other rosters that have been revealed so far. Thorin interviewed Malk on his latest episode of Reflections, and gaming journalist BRB Soul interviewed Toby One about his casting roots and thoughts on the Dota 2 scene in TI7. Tortellini wrote a blog post about his TI experience, and Flush has released a great new musical parody video featuring the new Wisp Arcana and the Portal theme song. Huge upset. Here's champagne for awkward celebration. Check the description for all of the links. But now it's time for Shitpost Central, bringing you the best, worst content of the week. Salty Half-Life fanboys have blasted Dota with so many negative reviews over the past month that we've now got a mixed rating on Steam. Solo got the perfect hotel room, S4 found a secret alliance strategy in one of their old scrim notebooks, and Slacks asked for tips on playing against PA in the only way he knows how, shitposting on Reddit. Someone made an alignment chart for Dota 2 Pros, EE doesn't understand how Reddit works, and someone trash talked GH in a pub, only for him to fire back with the sickest burn any Dota player can ever hope to make. <laughs> Before stream highlights, let's take a brief look into the trials and tribulations of LOL Tyler one He's a popular streamer and League of Legends player who seems to be quite proud of the fact that he's been permabanned from LOL 22 times for being a toxic douchebag. This week he decided to have a crack at Dota which went terribly, much to everyone's great amusement. But just quickly on a more serious note, while the guy is most definitely a complete tool, his stream really did highlight how terrible the new player experience in Dota is right now. In his first 10 games of normal matchmaking, he had to deal with multiple smurf accounts and abandons, completely imbalanced teams, and struggles with UI elements that are just never explained in the tutorials. But let's just have a laugh at him attempting to play the game. P.S. He's really fucking loud. Really? What ability? Into war. What ability? In stream highlights this week, Bulldog gets debated by the OpenAI bot, Xi fires shots at him, and Sing Sing finally loses it after playing too much Dota in SEA. OD Pixel does some mic testing, Grant Grant makes a sudden appearance, and Aloha Dance needs help from Cancel. What the hell is he doing? Oh shit! Debated! What? Oh my god! I can't believe it! Wow, that doesn't count. Hey, Sai, how is your stats going now? Are they better? Yeah, three wins, I think. Nice. Wow. That's almost as many competitive games you've played in the past two years, Bulldog. <laughs> Where the fuck did he just blink? I have three versions! Yes. Go, you fucking pussies! Jesus fucking Christ, what's wrong with you pussies? God damn, your forehead is shaped like a goddamn clitoris! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> I can't remember the rest of it. 
Crushing this viper in Yo, lane. What's up, it's your boy Grand Grand. You ever just seen a big dick? Huh? Me either, because I don't have one. Rodeo plus Charlie going top. Gonna try to rotate. Doesn't really mean much. Monkeys forever a far better player than both of them. We got Grand. We just have. Okay, okay, with me. Okay, with me. Okay, with me. Creed, Creed, Stan, fuck you. Next, help. Cancel. <laughs> That's the refresher for this week, folks. Be sure to keep an eye on FPL and the King's Cup over the next seven days and hit that subscribe button so we can keep you up to date on anything that you miss. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment with your sickest Dota 2 burn.